Hey guys, back with another video today. I need to get out of that. Okay, so uh, today I thought I'd make a quick video. Um, two videos will be released today as of 4-10-2014. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm, today I'm going to teach you how to install mods to Operation Arrowhead. Uh, not tried this with regular Arma 2, but I'm assuming this will probably work. Uh, but you have to have the Arma 2 mods. Uh, so, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So first, you want to find your Operation 2 Arrowhead um, folder. Uh, mines and Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Arma 2, Operation Arrowhead. That'll be, that's the default directory for Steam downloads. If you have it somewhere else, it might be uh, Bohemia Interactive in Program Files, x86. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to your directory and you want to make a new folder. So go ahead and make a new folder. And we want to call this at whatever the mod is called. So I'm going to click SMD mod. Um, if you want the link to this, I'll put it in the description. Um, but that's the mod. It's, yeah, <laughs> SMD. Not exactly what it stands for, but it's going to hit enter and we're going to have this file here. So now we're going to enter this file. Oh, by the way, make sure you remember this. <laughs> um, we're going to go into this SMD mod, or whatever you named it, make a new folder called add-ons. And in here you're going to put all the uh, files that you downloaded. Um, they're downloading currently, so I'll be right back when they're done. <laughs> uh, but Actually, we can go ahead and before doing, before putting the files in there, you, you want to right click on your Arma 2 OA or Arma 2.exe, right click, and click properties. Then you want to go to, which one is it? Uh, here. No, that's name. <laughs> Sorry guys, I blanked for a second. Uh, what you need to do is you actually need to make a uh, shortcut for this. So what you can do is you can just make a send to uh, desktop. Okay, so I'm gonna X out of this. Go to my desktop. There's a whole bunch of crap on here. I really need to clean this out. But uh, what we're looking for is this. Um, we're going to rename it. I'm just using F2. We're going to call it Arma 2 OA. Uh, SMD mod. Okay, so now I'm going to right click on it. Properties. Not this one. I'm going to have this here. You'll find where it goes to. After this here, I've already pre made this, it's dash mod equals, and then whatever the file of your mods are in is what you'll put after that. So we're just going to paste this at the end here. Uh, so this is going to launch SMD mod. So we're just going to click apply and OK. Uh, don't save. So now we have Arma 2 OA or er, Arma 2 OA SMD mod. That's what the name of mine is. But I'm just going to find Steam again. And then an SMD mod add-ons we're going to put in the files we downloaded. So here is part of it. Um, this is the, these are the SMD assets. Open up this, and we have all this stuff in here. In here, we're gonna find. In well, this is where mine is located. Add-ons. We're gonna find SMB assets. PBO, and we're gonna drag this in here. After I show you this way, I'll show you an alternate way of uh, putting mods in. Um, this is one of the easiest ways and most recommended ways. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wait for the rest of the files to download, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have the other files, um, but I forgot to mention something. If there's a uh, buy sign file in here, that goes in there too. <laughs> little error there. Alright, so now I have my next one. Add-ons. We're going to drag these in here. Oh, 
let this go. Do do do. All right. Yeah. Um, you can put the missions in your uh, missions if you want to. Um, you don't have to. That's certain mission missions that they give you, but I guess I'll put mine in there. All right. All right. So uh, back into here. And I'm going to wait for the third one to download. Okay, my last part downloaded here. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. Let this go. Uh, after this, I'm going to show you a way to install multiple mods and have them all run at the same time, rather than running a whole bunch of different ones. <clears throat> it's really simple. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna <laughs> let this go. <sighs> Don't want this video to uh, go too long. <sighs> all right. So now that we've put all these in here, you can run it, and you should have the mod installed. If not, let me know in the description below, and I will uh, see if I can help you. Now, another way you can do this. Uh, we don't need to use this SMD mod, and you don't need this uh, shortcut. You can uh, just run it, your game normally, and you'll have all the mods. So, what we want to do is we want to have all three of these open. Alright. So the assets. Alright, so, add-ons. Yeah, add-ons. Let me make sure we're add-ons on each one. Alright, so we're going to go into here. We're going to find common. And we're going to put all these in here. You can do this with multiple multiple mods. Uh, so don't worry. Oh, I have one mod now. It's not working. I'm just going to put all these in here. And my dog's like freaking out. Okay. And that one. And then we're going to open up our last one. And we're going to put this in here. Sadly, I cannot show you in-game. Uh, because my computer is not good enough. <laughs> not good enough specs to be able to run. Uh, <laughs> hacks folder, that's old. Uh, that was bef when I used to hack on a OA. Or, uh, I'm a 2 Operation Arrowhead. <laughs> what we're putting mods onto. Um, but now you have these installed. Uh, if you cannot use them, go into your expansions and enable them, and you should have them. Uh, but yeah, it's, that's basically pretty much it. Uh, not too, too hard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just have fun, play with some mods, open a server with your friends. Yeah, there's nothing really much to say. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah. Adios.